Hello everyone, welcome to a new series that I am about to kick start off. I am so, so very excited to be bringing this new series to you because it has become a passion of mine and pretty much a necessity of life for me. <laughs> so as you've seen by the thumbnail or the title of this video, this coloring series will be known as Color Me Healthy. And it's where we chat and color for the health of it. That's the theme. <laughs> yes. So, <clears throat> I'm just going to tell you a little bit uh, about this series and maybe do a little bit of coloring. But here I have my Creativity Takes Courage book. And this is just a book that I'm going to be using as a coloring diary or log. I'm also going to be using it for my YouTube video ideas, topics, and so forth. And uh, I'm going to be putting in color combinations, like what I use on certain pages, and just different little things. Anything related to art and my channel that I want to record in a book or journal, I will be putting it in this beautiful little journal here. So yes, we have that. Next, I wanted to just show you guys this journal that I've been using throughout my health journey, which pretty much started in early July, I think, the 1st of July. So I have this journal here that says, do not look back, you're not going that way. And I thought this journal was the most appropriate for a health journal for me to keep all of the data that I am experiencing with my health at this moment. You see, I got it here written, health journal, I'm ready to take control. So I won't show you what's inside on the pages because I have some very sensitive information <laughs> that I've been taking down. In this book, I have been notating my blood sugars, my blood pressures, um, what medicines I'm taking, what vitamins I'm taking, my weight, what changes I feel, how I feel in that day. I know I should have been doing a health journal a long time ago, but of course, laziness impeded me from getting that accomplished. <laughs> but like the title says, I'm not looking back. I'm going forward. And as I wrote in here, I'm ready to take control. I've always been really, really proactive with my health. So I, you know, I was always the web MD Google girl. You know, I always go to the doctor, even when I was a lot younger. I never really fully trust doctors. Unlike my parents, <laughs> they trust everything the doctor tells them. If the doctor says, it would be beneficial for your health to go jump off that bridge right there. They would be like, hmm, that doesn't sound quite right, but if he says it's so, I mean, he did go to school for eight years to tell me that, or 12 years. So, <laughs> so yes, it's just in my personality to know for myself what something does and what something doesn't do, and if something is beneficial for me personally. I'm not just going to let someone tell me hey, do this, it works. Or, hey, try this, it works. Now, I will try something at least once if it makes sense to me. But that's why on these series, I'm not going to tell you to go out there and do exactly the same things that I've done and I've had success with because everyone's body is different. Everyone's willpower is different. Everyone's makeup and goals and desires are different. Um, I may have a stronger motivational force. You know, I may have something to go towards. But on the other hand, you may be like, hey, I'm happy with my life. I'm happy with taking these 50,000 pills that the doctor prescribed me. I'm just good. I'm just like, whatever. I'm just blase. And that's fine. If that's the way you live your life and that's the best quality that you 
are experiencing and that's quality for you, go right ahead. Be my guest. That's you. Do you boo boo. Okay. And that's why I absolutely love the coloring hobby is because it gives you an opportunity to be you, to do you. You don't have to follow the masses. You can just do you or you can choose to follow the masses and just color everything just like the next person over there colors it. And that's fine too. <laughs> But yes, so I have my journal here that I've been recording faithfully every day, every morning, every noon, every night, what I took and how I felt after I took it and all that good stuff. So yes, so maybe one day we'll we'll take a peek in this and, and you know, who knows? We'll see. But currently... I am still on my journey. Um, as I mentioned before, I lost 20 pounds doing uh, my method of eating what I want, eating how much of it I want, and still losing weight by the method of intermittent fasting. Now, I will be doing a series solely on intermittent fasting, how it works, how I did it, what were my successes, what were my failures and how that journey turned out. But now that I'm getting to a certain point, I'm going to have to make some changes in my um, regimen and make some changes in, <clears throat> excuse me, in my intermittent fasting because it seems as if I've met, uh, I've met a plateau, probably because I was eating any and everything I wanted and that's not really the point of intermittent fasting but my purpose and my goal of even starting intermittent fasting was to just give my body a boost or a kickstart into eating healthier and trying to uh, have a healthier lifestyle without all of a sudden cold turkey cutting out carbs and doing keto and low carb and whatever and whatever and whatever so Intermittent fasting actually helps me to keep my same eating lifestyle, but yet and still, and, um, and I didn't have to exercise during that first, you know, two months that I lost the 20 pounds. Uh, I didn't have to do any exercising because I still wasn't feeling the best, but it really, really helped that. So that'll be another video. I'm going to be doing these series videos very strategically so that you can be able to find the information exactly what you need. So I'm going to explain how the channel, how the series, channel series has gone to work. I got a little British accent right there or something, guys. I don't know where it came from. <laughs> but how it's going to work is I am going to be chatting and coloring from something chatting about a specific subject. So we may have the title one day, uh, Color Me Healthy, dash, and I'll have the subject there, such as intermittent fasting, dieting without dieting, something like that. So you can know what that video is about. Or I'll have the title, Color Me Healthy series, episode two, um, vitamins, the best vitamins to help you sleep or the best vitamins, or what vitamins I take, I've started taking, and all that. It's just going to be, I think it's going to be a very awesome series, because a lot of us in the coloring community color because of some type of illness, because of some type of infirmity, because of some type of block that blocks us from living the most wonderful life that we possibly can live. Some of us are battling anxiety, depression, uh, we can't lose weight, we need to lose weight, diabetes, high blood pressure, chronic pain, chronic fatigue, uh, just old age, <laughs> brain loss, memory loss, um, it's just so much, uh, seizures, and it's just so much we're going through, and a lot of it can be remedied by making a few changes in our lifestyles. Guys, I'm going to tell you here and now, I have zero willpower. I mean, if there was a number less than zero, if we could do a negative zero, that would be me. 
So while I'm just talking along and, and getting you into this introduction, what I'm going to do is show you what I'll be coloring in during this introduction video. And I thought this coloring book was the most appropriate. It's Color Yourself Zen Postcards, 50 Tranquil Passages to Color. And I marked out about five of them. There are so many in here that's awesome. But I marked out about five of them just to show you how appropriate <laughs> coloring in this book uh, particularly while we're doing our uh, color and health chat would be so perfect because of what's in here now the first one I'm going to show you is actually the one I want to do you know right here on this video because I think it's just amazingly perfect okay or maybe I'll just show you that one last. How about that? Yeah, I'll show you that one last so we can just get to coloring in it. All right, so here's one. <clears throat> now this one has the saying on it, not trying is more painful than regret. And I love these because they're simple pictures, dark lines, very bold, and you can just have a ball with maybe straight coloring and just have these inspirational sayings and just color it with mindlessly. I think that's, you know, this will be the perfect thing to use for this series. The next one that I thought was just absolutely appropriate for this series to try to color in eventually, maybe on the next one, is this one. It says, for a radiant future take good care of the present that's so true for me guys and then it has the flowers and all the leaves and things so you get you out a bunch of greens and a few flower colors maybe one color flower or two and hey you got yourself some coloring relaxation time this next one here love it it says when you share your happiness it grows and that's really what I would like to do with you guys. I want to share my happiness. I know a lot of you come to my channel who's been here with me a long time. And you've been like, oh, Nisi, you are a very happy and inspirational person. You're so happy and joyous all the time. We appreciate that. That's why we're here. Well, I want to step my channel up to another level. I want to add to that. Uh, another step, another level. I want to add to that really physical happiness. And that physical happiness just makes it even better. I want you guys to feel the happiness and the joy and how I feel right now. Like with my pain levels, with my uh, anxiety. And, and yes, I have been there with anxiety and depression and all of the above. Because when you're in so much pain, you're going to have anxiety. You're going to have depression because you're depressed because you can't, can't move around like you would like to. Or you can't accomplish certain tasks like you maybe once could. <clears throat> so that's a given. It's not saying that you're a bad person or that I'm, I'm I'm unhappy in my life and that my life is horrible. No, it's just the methods that I was going by, listening to my doctors and, and taking, you know, what they tell me to take. It wasn't working for me. It was not working. It wasn't making me better. I was actually getting worse. My pain was increasing. And it got to a point where I just said no. No, I have to do something different and I have to find it for myself because no one else is helping me find this. So that's what I did. So I want to share all of this good, goody, good, good, goodness with you guys. <laughs> and this last page here is this one. It says... The biggest don'ts are those you impose... Wait... I'm speaking in second person. The biggest don'ts are those imposed. Wait a minute. Is there an eye? Oh, there's the eye. Look, I was looking all over that eye right there. That eye need to be a different color. So I could, I was like, what is that? I'm running all that together. The biggest don'ts are those I impose on myself. Now, this one has a lot to do with my eating. 
And I'm just going to tell you here and there and now. I love me some carbohydrates. I mean, carbohydrates are the love of my life. If I can marry a carbohydrate, I will. <laughs> but they are also my enemy when it comes to eating them and feeling horrible because of blood sugar issues and all that kind of stuff and fibromyalgia with the inflammation that a lot of carbohydrates, sweets, and different things cause. So they're also my enemy. We have a love-hate relationship, but I just could not, I couldn't imagine giving those things up. So, yeah, I, I said I, I just can't tell myself don't or can't or what I can't have, but I'm trying to do it in moderation, and it's been working. It's been working, guys. So the page that I was most excited about in here, and I was like, oh my goodness, I need to do that page for my introduction, color and chat, is this one. You see this, guys? This is, this is life reading right here. One goal a day is the secret to great achievements. And this is definitely something that I had to learn. I had to learn that my success was not dependent on what's, what I'm going to be able to do tomorrow. I'm like, okay, what can I do today? As, as a fibromyalgia sufferer with pain all the time, I had to choose between activities. Well, am I going to do, am I going to take a bath today or am I going to go to the grocery store today? <laughs> and no, don't go to the grocery store stinky. <laughs> So I just have to say, you know, okay, right now I'm just going to take my bath and I'm just going to lay down. And if I can go to the grocery store, have enough strength to go later on, then, hey, we'll, we'll deal with that when we get there. But for the time being, I'm going to take priorities, which is getting clean. <laughs> I don't know if that was too much information for you guys or not, but it's the truth, okay? We are chatting about our health and Please leave comments below and just interact with me about your health. Uh, what do you think about certain things we're discussing? I really want this series to be very, very, very interactive so that we can help each other. Uh, the struggles that I went through, you may be experiencing the same ones, and I may not have uh, completely or thoroughly explained what I did to get past those struggles. And you may be like, hey, you mentioned this. What did you do to make this better? Well, hey, just leave it in the comments. Let's let's just blow that comment section up. And if you have any uh, suggestions for future videos, I'm going to go ahead and tear this postcard out. And isn't this absolutely amazing paper? I couldn't decide whether I wanted to use watercolor on this or markers. I think markers would be the best choice for right now just something you know mindless and if I can only just <clears throat> tear it out then I'll be fine but yes uh, if you have suggestions of a topic I will be writing them down in my little uh, create YouTube book if you have a suggestion on you know how to maybe do something better like if I mention a way of eating or something or another and you're like hey um, I tried this and this worked so maybe maybe everyone can try this or that or this or that I don't like that behind there that's kind of ugly <clears throat> excuse me guys I'll put my paper behind there like that that'll work <sighs> And now I don't like the, ugh. I'm having issues, guys. Wait a minute. You know that OCD be coming out and just rearing its ugly head and just make you do crazy things? Like, this is irritating me. I'm going to have to cut. <laughs> I'm going to have to cut that off. <laughs> yes, child. OCD issues. <clears throat> they are real. Ooh. I don't want my I don't want it to bleed through onto my little clipboard the alcohol markers or whatever I used. All right, so 
I was telling you guys uh, what I wanted. Um, not what I wanted. When I get to looking for stuff, my mind just, it goes somewhere else when I'm trying to make a decision on something. I definitely want the words to be like very stand out, maybe in glitter, but I have a feeling I need to do the words last. So I'm going to use gel pen to start off maybe. Or should I use Sharpies to start off? We not gonna we're not gonna stress about this guys. I'm just gonna pick something out. But no 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 I just can't pick anything out because I want it to be pretty. <clears throat> Excuse me, I need to go and get some tea or something. But I'll be able to see the top of this. Okay, I definitely think that should be some type of shiny blue. So let's just go ahead and do that. Let's just do a metallic. A metallic blue. Alright, so yeah that works all right so what this channel is about <clears throat> is like i said i'm sorry for keeping clearing my throat steadily clearing my throat guys i feel a little hoarseness coming on i kept going back and forth whether i was going to make this video or not today but I was just so anxious to get it, you know, started for you guys. Because there's so much I want to share with you. And so much I want to talk to you about. That I was just like, uh-uh. I don't care. Horse or not horse. I'm coming on. and We're going to get this going. And I think I will zoom you in a little bit. So you can see better and I won't just be talking and you don't really know what's going on that's better <clears throat> all right I'm just going to take these pins out of their little housing <sighs> okay so I guess I will do a green. I want to switch over to my Sharpies for some reason. They're just calling me. This dark green dual-ended Sharpie, it just calls me, guys. It just calls me all the way across the other side of the room. <laughs> so... Like I was saying, if if you don't, if you want to like include in the comments like your struggles and what you're going through, and if you've overcome something, you know, just leave it in the comments below so we can interact. And if it's something that you maybe don't want to share with everyone, but you just want to share it with me, then you know you can always email me. My email address is um, always listed in the description. So you can just email me and, you know, if you want your story shared or something, you can always, you know, just let me know, hey, I want you to share my story, but just leave me anonymous or just call me this person or that person. Here's my anonymous name. Because sharing is caring. <laughs> Actually, that's like we as a community, we are the only ones that's really going to help one another. And I've already smeared that gel pen. Already. Look at that. It's already on my hand. Maybe I need to get my little, um, I wonder if my little, what do you call that thing? 
my little glove. I wonder will that help with these, smearing these gel cans. We're gonna get that out and see. Let's see, let's put it on and see if that helps with my smearing any. I knew I was gonna smear that gel pen. Gel pen just, it just does some absolutely crazy things when it wants to. It just does not dry. I would love to have an instant drying gel pen. But we know that's somewhere else other than what's right here with me. Okay. I guess I'll do all these like this. But yes, guys, we all are experiencing something. And I may mention something for uh, like weight loss that actually may help you with another problem you have. I remember on my, uh, I was just, I just had the live stream and one of the lovely ladies mentioned how she doesn't need to lose weight. You know, she's been thin all of her life. So like the weight loss method that I've been using, um, intermittent fasting, She's like, I don't need to lose weight. So what would be the point of me trying that? I don't want to lose weight. But I mentioned to her that the intermittent fasting is actually also good, not just for losing weight, but it's great for other things also. It's actually very, very effective in increasing your human growth hormone which aids and see I already got <laughs> all right this this poor little board it's not gonna it's not gonna stay clean I may as well just go ahead and get used to it it's just gonna have markers markings all over it so oh well but anyway the human growth hormone helps in um, helping your body not age as quickly and it helps with pain and it helps with memory and it was it's actually like the human growth hormone in children helps them to grow properly but that human growth hormone stays in your body as an adult and as a, an adult it helps you age properly and you know not age so badly you know, a lot of times you say, oh my goodness, she or he did not age well. He has all those wrinkles in his face and she has all those spots in her face. Like those dark spots, uh, sun spots or age spots, some may call them. Well, all of that has to do with the human growth hormone. And fasting actually increases that hormone production and helps, you know, a lot of stuff. So I was like telling her, yeah, girl, fasting is not just to lose weight. It's for other things, too. It helps other things in your body to work correctly. So she was like, oh, yes, I need that because my memory, oh, my goodness, is shot. <laughs> so. Yes, guys. So this is how uh, I will be doing it. I will be, should have been using that little side. Cause, and plus I'm sleepy right now, guys. I took a vitamin that, to help sleep, which is magnesium. And it definitely works. It definitely assists in making you sleepy. Because one doctor mentioned how we all are deficient in magnesium even if you get a magnesium test blood test to see if you're de deficient 
he said you really couldn't tell on that test because the body does such a good job in holding on to magnesium to stay in the blood your test will always be normal it's the problem lies when when that when that magnesium starts pulling um when that body starts pulling magnesium from the bones and, and different places and try to place them in the blood or try to use it as whatever source it needs to use it as. All right, I think I need, do I need a yellow color for that? Let's try yellow. That one needs a darker color because it's just been ruined. Oh, and that gives it a little bit of a blend also. So yes, this is the introduction to how this series will be going. We will be talking about specifics, and hopefully you will leave a comment, or quite a few comments, down below, sharing with me your comments, your ideas, your thoughts, future video ideas. I'm going to switch over to the Blick markers. I wonder what color. This is Lime Sorbet. I just want to see what color that is. Oh, I like that one. That's a pretty color. Oh, boy. Where does this go? That's one, that's, is that one? That's one, two, maybe this one is a three. Oh, I'm coloring a little bit sloppy, guys. Just a little bit, no, not a little bit, a lot. <laughs> I'm coloring sloppy a lot because I can feel my bedtime is approaching rapidly. But how are you guys doing today? Was today a good day for you? I sure hope so. Earlier today, I seem to have been battling with more pain than I had been in a long time, but it still was not nearly, nearly as bad as it was before I started on this healthy journey. Not nearly as bad. Oh my goodness. Not even close. It was still more pain than I wanted, but hey. I'll take that over debilitating any day, if you know what I mean. <clears throat> and I'm just loving working with these markers, especially when it's like a color and chat. Because I, as you've seen like in the beginning, I was having a hard time talking and picking out colors. Just simple questions. I'm just questions. See, guys, now my now my vocabulary is leaving me. So you know it's time for me to go to bed. Even simple choices seemed monumental, unreachable. Oh boy, is that leaf part of? Something or another over here. I don't know. Looks like it could be. We're going to say it is. 
Yes, we surely are going to say it is. I guess this is the green I used. If it's not, oh well, it's going to be the green that is used today. <clears throat> I think it is, though. So, anyways... Can you guys see? Anyways, since this is the introduction video, that's why I was kind of talking about everything under the sun and just kind of giving you guys a gist of the, you know, of course I'm not going to stop any of my other types of videos. This is just going to be something that's going to be added because this is where my passion is right now. My passion and my main interest in life is getting healthier and feeling better. It's just, it's just a must for me right now. An absolute necessity. Because you know you get to that point in your life when you're when you're a sick person and you have ailments, you get to that point where you're just you're just done. You're just done. Nothing is just you just like, mm-mm. I'm not doing this. This is not gonna work. <laughs> we gotta move on and, and figure something else out with this thing. Let's see, which color? I'm going to have to put my markers together. Like someone told me, put like a rubber band around them. Is that a different? Yes, that's a different green. Like put a rubber band around them with all the different colors. <clears throat> so that I can be able to easily find what I'm looking for okay what am I looking for what color do I want this to be goals blue and pink and that green I want it to be springy or summery I want it to be summery would I use bright bold colors of course I would what are you crazy of course bright colors <laughs> I'll wait and use springy colors during the spring. So yes, guys, comment below if you can, if you would desire to, what is your biggest health concern right now? And of course, you don't have to express all your business here out on the street. That is totally understandable. But, you know, your biggest health concern that you would like to share. And maybe we can discuss that together. Maybe I'll make a future video of that particular thing. And I know... I won't then have went through every single thing that you have went gone through, but it's it's just our mentally, physically. At the end of the day, each person's trial is that person's trial, and it's it's huge. It's huge in their eyes. And some people can, like, say, for example, me, for example, I can't, I can't take a lot of pain. I see some people, they can give childbirth and not take any pain medicine. But I'm crying over just a headache. I'm like, I'm debilitated. I can't move. I can't think. I can't eat. I can't sleep. I just, I'm just miserable. <laughs> so yes, each person, you know, each person has their struggle and their struggle is real. 
And how is this purple Sharpie the same purple as that? That looks pink. Don't even play me, Sharpie. Come on now. We're not even going there. Let's try this one. They're not different colors, are they? I bet this one is more of the light purple and doesn't... Oh, goodness. Have this, has it ever been open? Oh! My gosh! Really? Oh, my goodness. This is crazy. Oh, Lord. I cannot open this. Let me take this glove off. It's getting hot anyway. What is... There we go. Now, what was your malfunction? Now, that's purple. Now, that's the right purple. That other purple was not purple. I'm not going to put the top on that too hard because it's... Whew, it doesn't know... It doesn't know what to do with itself. One, two... I think this one is going to be three. Wait a minute now. Oh boy. Okay, we'll figure that out later. Alright, next color is going to be this one. But anyway, guys, whew, I tell you, but like I was saying, today was a higher pain level day than be usual, but I know, I know why, you know why, I know why, <clears throat> Aunt Flo loves to visit people when they don't want them to visit, <laughs> you get my drift. You get it, I know you do. You get the drift drifty. So, oh, I'm not done with that. I'm just packing things up. Like, like I'm done with this whole little section right here. And I definitely am not. One, two, and three. One, two. And I know there are like a lot of guys out there, and a few guys watch my channel, and, uh oh, there's Ruffy again. And hey, guys experience a lot of the same things we experience when it comes to pain and fatigue. A lot of times they won't admit it. They try to rough it on out and rough through it, but they're just they're just hurting inside as just as bad as we are. Just as bad. Might not complain about it as much, but hey, it's there. And who wouldn't want to feel better? And that's what I'm mostly concerned about. I'm concerned about feeling better. The looking better part, or the weight loss, it'll come. It will come later. It will come in time. But a lot of times, and I know, I know that's one thing that I definitely did, was I kind of tried to rush, rush weight loss and rush you know feeling better and then I would kind of stop if I didn't see results and I do that with a lot of stuff if I don't see results desired results very quickly oh I'm quitting <laughs> so that's why I'm so surprised that this worked out for me because I was able to stick with it And I, I knew I wanted to do like low carb. I, I knew I needed. I did not want. I know I knew I needed to do like low carb and all that kinds of stuff, but I knew that just was not going to be feasible. 
feasible for my lifestyle and my desires because like I said you know food love food love 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 we do not have a healthy relationship and part of this I had to fix my relationship with food Still working on that relationship because I just, ooh, it's rough, guys. It really is. But it's getting so much better. And we will be discussing that. Yes, we will. Now, what is that right there? I guess that's. Part of this little flower thing behind it. Well, that's no problem. I'm really proud of myself. I'm not trying to do too much blending. I'm just straight coloring. <clears throat> I'd be so proud of myself when I straight when I can straight color. And when I can just not complicate things up. Definitely want this pink. Ooh, that's metallic right there. That is very metallic. Let me try to stay in the line. Oh, guys, you see that? kind of has that little shine and shimmer to it. That's the only thing I hate about alcohol markers. They just bleed. Bleed on over into areas that you do not want them to be bleeding into. So yes, guys, you might wonder, well... Why didn't you maybe start a new channel if you wanted to talk about health things? Well, I, I, I actually, I already have another channel. It's actually a hair and beauty and health wellness channel. It's already kind of, but it's mostly health, uh, hair and beauty, mostly hair, <laughs> a little bit of beauty and it was going to be a health channel, but I kind of got off my weight loss journey before I kind of stopped making videos over there. So I have a channel that I could go to and just kind of start all over or start a new following with just specifically the information that I have acquired. But like I told uh, one of my friends, I said, I just don't feel comfortable in starting a new following. I just don't I just don't want to. I don't I don't want to start a new following with new people and a new community and even though I I'm already in that community, I don't deal with that community quite often at all because I don't make videos uh hair videos uh, anymore. It was just beginning to be a little bit too much because I had to, you know, I don't like getting on camera looking on any kind of way now. I had to have my makeup done and, you know, it just had to be too much. It was just too much. But that's one thing that I love, 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 loved when I was coming over here to the coloring community. It was like... Look, long as your, your nails look decent and you're not ashy on your hands. <laughs> and and that's all that was needed for, you know, to be all right over here. So, yes, like I said, I just, I did not want to start another following. I just, I just didn't, that's not what I wanted. I didn't want to start you know, really pouring myself out and giving this valuable information to just anybody. I wanted to save that for you guys. At least initially. 
I want you to go on this journey with me. You've been on this journey already with me. Those on the channel, the other channel, they haven't been on this journey with me. I would just be bringing it to them, you know, just out of the blue. And I, I, I just didn't want that. I just wanted you guys to experience this first and continue to experience it with me because I don't plan on going anywhere anytime soon. So hopefully I will be completing my goals along with you. And we can just start back coloring, doing all the coloring we want and not have to worry about health issues. That will be the day. The day that I long to see. Okay, so I'm trying to decide what I want that colored and what I want this colored. I think I definitely want some oranges. No red. Uh, maybe glitter pen. Yeah, let's let's get the glitter pens out and see what we have. Let me let me get this glitter pen right here. Let's see what this will do. If I can get it to moving, looks like that neon. It's more neon pink in there than anything. I don't think I want that. Let's try this one. Yeah, that's the one I want. Kind of a purpley, milky. It reminds me of the Milky Pops. Milky Pop. Um, gel pens by Pentel. Of course I don't have them. I just saw them in the store but the colors remind me of those. And this pen is mighty scratchy. These are the Office Depot. Yeah. These are the Office Depot store pens that I got. I think it was 50 pens came in this pack. They're pretty good. I'm sure they're not the best quality, but they're good enough for what I do with pens. All right, I think I need to go over. Okay, that's not gonna let me go over that. It's just stuck the way it is. And Why am I missing a pen right here? I guess I'll find it later. It's somewhere. Don't know where, but it's somewhere. Okay, so I need to do this little section right here. And I need to do the rest of that. What do we have? What do we have? Orange or yellow? We have yellow. I'm going to use this Paper Make Flare. Oops, sorry if I shook you guys up a little bit. I'm bumping the camera with my head. I'm telling you, I'd be trying to get all up in the picture. You know how when you were little you used to color like with your hands down and have your head almost, well not all, not almost, all the way on the desk <laughs> or the table and you would just be coloring and you would just probably color yourself to sleep. Oh, well this is sure not a masterpiece, I tell you that. But I guess it's not always about the masterpieces. Sometimes it's, it's just about 
getting ink or pencil or color on the page. I think I'm really, really going to enjoy these health checks with you guys because I will try to focus more on just, you know, straight coloring, getting things on the page. But of course, we are definitely going to continue to have. I need some scratch paper. Well, I can use this scratch paper. I'm going to continue to have different, you know, the same content that I've been having with just this little addition. All right, now what color should I do? I think that should be some type of light, light blue. Yeah. Or should I wait and just do that as a background? Yes, I'm gonna wait. I may do that as like a pastel background or something. But I need to fix this right here. What color? What color do I see in my brain? I see kind of like a turquoise color, but not really turquoise color. Do I have that? Does that even exist? I would kind of like a metallic. Maybe this metallic jade green. Let's see. Let's try it over here in this little bitty section. Yeah, that works. You have to be so careful with these metallic markers because they will cover everything up. Every line, every color you already colored, just everything. And this is a juicy marker. Go ahead on, Bic. Alright, so let's get back on into coloring this chat, this healthy coloring chat. Let's get back on into this introduction video and talk into you guys. Let's see, what do I want to kickstart? I know you've been like, really? You've been talking for like 45 minutes and you still talking about a kickstart? <laughs> Oh my goodness, yes. I'm about to put some stipples on this, this flower right here. Let's see what kind of, or either some um, pearl, texture pearl, white or gold or silver. Hmm. Or like a yellow metal. I have my liquid pearls and then I have the stickles these don't seem like all my stickles oh glitter glue do I have more glitter glue in here no these are all my Winka Stellas oh I know where my glitter glue is but I don't feel like getting it, so we're going to stick with what I got. We're just going to do some Faber-Castell texture gems. That's what we're going to do right here on this flower. That's if, if it'll open. Alright, let's squeeze. Is it even open? My goodness. Yes, it's open. I guess I'm just not squeezing hard enough. Don't don't blow out of there now, thing, please. Okay, I'm having I'm having technical Technical difficulties, guys. Okay, I think I need to stick a hole in here with something. Do I have a pin or safety pin or something? Okay, I don't have time to be fooling with that. We 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 got to move on. We 
Let's see if this one is. Oh, guys, I tell you, when you don't use it, you lose it. And I guess that goes for more than just um, <laughs> brain sales. It goes for art supplies, too. All right. <laughs> just happened that just happened <laughs> boy 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 what am i going to do with that mm. all right we're gonna figure this thing out that's okay that's okay let's work with this okay that's all we needed just just a little something to help us out that's all look it's okay <laughs> Boy, so what I'm going to do is just maybe doop. Yeah, let's do that. Doop. Yeah. Okay. That's all. <laughs> now I got a whole blob of it right here and I want to use it somewhere. We'll figure it out later. We will figure that out later. I'm just going to sit that to the side because it just misbehaved on me. Okay, and how does this go on? Oh, it just pops. Um, doesn't screw on. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna leave that alone. We're going to leave that all the way alone. Okay, because I just made a mess. But we we halfway saved that mess, so that's okay. I feel this flower needs something else. I think it needs stipples, man. So we're just going to go ahead and just go ahead and just put those stickles on there. Oh, yes, we're going to use the pink patha. Uh, it looks like I've never used pink taffeta. Okay, how are we going to do this? Just kind of in the middle? Yeah, that's how we're going to do it. Come on, pink taffeta. Don't don't act like that liquid pearls now. I'm not. I'm not playing with you. I'm not getting a flow. <sighs> yes, guys, we're having we're having difficulties right now. Like seriously. What is really going on? Oh my goodness. I'm going to have to fix this too. What? It's not. It's like it's clogged up or something. Okay. We're going to have to work. We're going to have to figure something out. Okay, now, Crystal, I know you usually work so me, so let's see if Crystal will work. Yes, yeah, see, Crystal works. All those ones that I have never used, they not working for me. Don't use it, you lose it. Okay, there we go. That looks a little bit better. But pink taffeta, you really hurt my feelings. You just hurt my feelings being all clogged up. Just embarrassed me in front of all my friends. Yes, you did. I'm not crazy, guys, I promise. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, so I think that's going to do it for today. You know, I'm not liking that right there either. So let's just let's just sit down and fix that together. I'm not liking the way the gel pens behaved, and I need this pink taffeta to work now. 
Oh my goodness. I'm just going to have to get on up and find a safety pin. course this would be the day safety pins disappear <clears throat> and can never be found ever again so we're going to try a paper clip all right let's see oh my goodness paper clip is a reject it's too big Good gracious. Well, by golly. I'm just going to have to fix that later. Okay, well, I'll fix it, guys. <laughs> this has worn me out. Okay, so. Yes. This is going to be what this is not what going to be what you should expect oh my goodness no I'm, I'm sleepy and I'm talking crazy now so but like I mentioned before the format is what you can ex expect <laughs> what you can expect in this new series which is going to be color me healthy and the theme is where we're going to chat and just color for the health of it. Thank you, Cupcake. <laughs> she came up with that theme. So, guys, yes, thank you so much for joining me and hanging out with me today. And I cannot wait to get the kickoff series started. I actually would like you guys to comment and vote kind of on what you want the first video to be especially about. Um, I was thinking about uh, like the first video being about weight loss, uh, exercise, um, doctors, you know, disappointing you, disappointing doctors, intermittent fasting, uh, vitamins, supplements, any of the illnesses that I may have that you may have also, and we can just talk about those, how to diet or how to change your eating habits and not have to diet and restrict yourself from eating any foods just what what would you guys like to hear about first i would i would love to um hear what you have to say in the comments below and i may end up doing like a poll where you vote on the community page but until then just just vote and talk and leave me a comment below okay guys so thank you, thank you again for tuning in, and as always, happy coloring. Bye.